Tense moments before an officer's life is lost. New video you'll only see on News 4 at 6. Watch as a St. Louis County police officer turns on his flashing lights when he sees the speeding black Jetta coming toward him. That's Jetta's driver later crashing head on into a car carrying two undercover narcotics officers. Tonight, black bunting lines the front doors of the St. Louis County Police Headquarters in Clayton. It's for the memory of their fallen comrade, Detective Antonio Valentine. The investigation into all of this is far from over. And just in the last few hours, News 4 confirmed the name of the driver who crashed with those officers. This is Alfred Mays. St. Louis County Police say there was an attempt to pull over Mays and he sped off eventually hitting the officer's car. News 4 has team coverage continuing now with Dion Broxton learning more about Officer Valentine, but we start with Russell Kinsall. Russell, your learning Mays had a fairly extensive criminal past. Yeah, he had a violent criminal past with a record that includes a probation violation and failure to show up for a criminal court hearing. And he was caught on surveillance video speeding in a stolen vehicle moments before that deadly crash. Actually, I'm just, I'm grieved for the families, you know, because that's a loss on, on both ends. Police identified the driver of the car that struck Detective Antonio Valentine's vehicle as 33-year-old Alfred Mays. We learned he was a frequent customer at Rocka Food Market at Chambers and Diamond Drive, where they knew him by his nickname of Snap. He come in here all the time. We never had no problem with them. They're cool people. They always, they always in here. The store provided us this surveillance video from moments before the crash. In it, you can see a police car pull up by the store, then turn on his flashing lights when he sees the speeding black Jetta coming toward him. Then he pulls out in pursuit, followed moments later by another undercover police vehicle. Narcotics officers had determined the Volkswagen was stolen. Police say the Jetta crossed the center line and hit Valentine's vehicle as he was traveling east toward the report of the stolen car. Willie Andrews came home from work and saw the crash scene where he normally turns into his neighborhood. I don't know, it was this bad, you know. 42-year-old Detective Valentine was killed in the crash. Another officer in the same vehicle was injured, but not badly. Oh man, you know, that's, that's, that, that hurts. That hurts, you know, especially when they're out doing a job and something like this happened, you know. We checked and May's criminal past includes a conviction for first degree attempted robbery, a domestic violence. He had a pending drug case, but failed to show up for a court hearing back in May. Live in Bill Fountain Neighbors, Russell Kinsall, News 4.